If you've ever heard my family's testimony, you have probably heard me say that when it comes to God's plan for your life, there are no coincidences. But I don't want you to just take my word for it. There's proof to that fact all throughout the Bible. And it's exactly what we see here in 1 Samuel chapter 9. This is a great example of how God goes before us and orchestrates our steps even when we have no idea what he's up to. On the surface, this chapter may just look like a big coincidence, but we quickly see how even when hope seems lost, God was always in control. Saul is sent on a scavenger hunt to look for his father's lost donkeys. Him and his servant are searching with no direction. They're out of food and they're about to throw in the towel on this lost cause and head home. But suddenly, the servant has an idea to go see a prophet for help, which leads them to Samuel, who God had told the day before that Saul would be coming and to anoint him as king over Israel. You see, many times, our circumstances leave us feeling like we're aimlessly wandering through life or chasing after a lost cause, but the reality is that God is merely repositioning us to experience something miraculous. God is always at work in our lives, just like he was in Saul's. Deuteronomy 31.8 says, It is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. And Psalm 37.23 says, The Lord directs the steps of the godly. He delights in every detail of their lives. Every step we take has been carefully thought out and orchestrated by God. What we may see as coincidence is really God at work in our lives.